In order to be creating truly engaging content on Instagram, you not only need to be creating really great content that people want to engage with, but you also have to be playing Instagram's game. It can be really frustrating trying to keep up with the rules, trends, and rules available to you on Instagram. And now that Instagram has come out and said they no longer are just a photo sharing app, but are in fact a multimedia platform where you need to be creating lots of different kinds of content in order for the platform to truly work for you as a business. As a business owner, this can be super daunting and frustrating. You are already really busy in your business and trying to take on one more thing is just going to keep you from your objective, which is to grow your business. Oftentimes this will result in is that you're just not going to do it or whatever you're going to do is not going to work as well as you would like. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the five different types of video content that you can be creating on Instagram to help you tell your brand's story effectively. Now make sure you stick around to the end of this video where I'm going to give you some very strategic steps on how you can integrate video for Instagram into your content plan that's not going to make you go crazy or frantic. I also want you to know that this video is not a tutorial on how to do all these specific things. I have a whole bunch of videos on this channel that you can find in the description down below. They're going to break down for you how to create all this content, how to post them to Instagram. In this video, we're going to go over what the different options are for you and how you can use them for your brand storytelling. Okay, so let's dive into what these five different types of video content are. So the first kind of video that we're going to go over today is the Instagram feed video. Now feed video is the original form of video content that you can can create for Instagram. These can be square, horizontal, or vertical videos that are three to 60 seconds long. This is one of the two forms of content that you can schedule on Instagram so that you can like put it up on Creator Studio or use a third party scheduling app to post the content out for you. B video is also available for carousel posts as well on Instagram. This is one of the greatest ways to get engaging content on Instagram because it forces people to stay on your graphic longer. And when you're using video, they're going to be watching and doing more on it. The longer someone when looks at your Instagram posts, the more likely that Instagram is to put it in front of that person again. Some things to remember to improve your Instagram feed posts are going to be as follows. First things first, over 85% of people are watching your content without sound on the newsfeed. That's why it's going to be really important to make sure that you have closed captions and text on your video as the main priority and the main communication platform for your consumers to watch your videos. Without those closed captions, you're going to find that people are not going to watch or consume your content as long. You also want to make sure that you have a really nice cover image. You're going to select your cover image when you upload your video onto Instagram and you can select the screen that's going to show up there, but you want to make sure that you select it. Otherwise it will default to the very first frame of the video that you're posting. So if you want to plan for that, now you know, but make sure that you have a really good cover selected. So if you are scrolling through the feed or they go to your profile, they have something relevant and engaging to see besides like some weird frozen frame. Now, just like having closed captions is important for your videos. It's also important that you give the best, most flashy, important, pow, thumb stopping content in the first three to five seconds. Those three to five seconds are going to be vital to the success of your video on Instagram because it's going to make people stop. It's going to make people watch. It's going to make people engage with what you have to say. If you're not putting your most important stuff there in the front or getting that hook at the beginning, your video will be doomed for failure. Really consider editing your videos down so that the most important information is being given and you're not having all this extra stuff that isn't going to move your story forward. It's better to have a shorter video that people will watch all the way through versus a longer video that people get bored watching. So really take the time to effort to take out the stuff that is not necessary and adding enhancements like text filters and other things onto the video so that it can perform better. Our second form of video content is going to be Instagram stories. Now Instagram stories can be found at the top of the homepage in those big circle bubbles at the top. These are going to be an unlimited amount of stories that are less than 15 seconds that you can post in a vertical format. Now stories are very unique because they have a 24 hour shelf life, which means after 24 hours, that story, that video, that graphic, whatever you post is going to poof, it's going to go away. Unless of course you save it into your highlights, but for the most part, you can bet on the fact that it's going to go away. So it's really important to make sure this content is raw and real and very story driven to keep people tapping and watching through to the end of your story. Now, what you need to remember when you're creating stories to make it really engaging content is remember that stories comes with a lot of really great features built into the app. You're going to have closed captions. You're going to have music. You're going to have gifts. You're going to have filters. You're going to have all kinds of different text options. Instagram is trying to make it really easy for you to make all kinds of really fun and interactive content. So use the features that are available for you in Instagram stories to create better content that will keep people watching. Now, what's really great about Instagram stories is that you can tell a story with them. You want to make sure that you're creating a beginning, a middle and an end when it comes to your stories. That's why you can have like a lead in and establish what the problem is or what you're going to talk about. Give me 
and then conclude it with what happened and ended or with a question or a call to action. You want to give a very fulfilling story to your watcher. That way they feel like they're watching something purposefully and that they're along for the journey with you and gives them a sense of like conclusion and wrapping it up that you're going to need when telling a good story. It's also been shown that when you create content in stories with the features and all the cool things they have available for you, it's going to perform better than trying to do it through third party. So yes, there are a lot of options to go through like Canva or Adobe Spark to create really cool story graphics and stuff. But if you create the content within stories itself or use those templates and designs, but, but add in extra features like GIFs or post captions or something like that, it adds extra dimension to your story. And that's what Instagram wants to see and keep you in the app and using the app features to make the content better. Our third video format is called Reels. Now Reels is very trendy and is the direct competition of TikTok. TikTok took over during the pandemic and Instagram notably saw it and was like, we need to do that too. Reels allows you to make 15 second to three minute videos that are truly engaging and fun. Now they generally tend to rely on like an audio clip and then you also can use the Instagram Reels editing tools to put together a series of shots or animated text or something to tell the story that's related to what's going on. Unlike a lot of Instagram content you have, it's very feed dependent. You have to already be following someone to really see what's going on and what content you are being serviced. But with Reels, not only are you seeing on the feed, but when people are consuming Reels content, there is no rhyme, reason, or anything like that for how people can reach or find it. It's all entirely based on how the user consumes those Reels. So if there's like a specific topic or a song or a feature or something I really like that I find myself watching more than once or I watch all the way through or I like comment to interact with, Instagram is gonna tell Reels to give more of those Reels to that person. And that's when your content can show up. You're able to discover so many new and cool people that you never found before through Reels. So really it's important and vital to the success of your Instagram account to be using Reels to connect with your audience in an organic and fun kind of way. Now in order for Reels to be successful for you, you have to do a couple of different things. The big one is to find trending audio clips that are going to work for you and your audience when it comes to the content you're going to create. Now Reels again has lots of different audio clips. It can be talking, it can be music, or you can even create your own audio clip. What's important is that you're using the audio to help you through your story. In fact, Reels doesn't work unless you have some kind of audio attached to it. You definitely want to make sure that you also add text to your Reels. Adding in text gives context to what's happening. It tells people like what the tone is going to be for this content and give them the reason for why you're here on their feed. Now, if you're just doing dance content or movement content, that can really kind of confuse your audience if you're a business because you need to be finding ways to time that business audio into what you're doing. Again, I have lots of really great examples on how to find trending reels and how to create reels in the description down below to really help you through this. Now, remember when you're creating reels, you don't have to dance or sing. You can literally just like sit there and, and let the song play, have like some text on the screen, like that can be your reel. They can be very simple and I encourage you to keep them that way, especially as you're getting started. Now, while reels are very audio and video driven, don't forget about making time for your caption. Your caption is gonna be an extension of what's happening in your reel and the information you're trying to get across. In fact, at the end of your reel, you can call to action to go and read the caption and do something actionable from it. So don't forget to put time into that caption. Now we're gonna talk about the fourth kind of content for video, which is IGTV. Now IGTV is Instagram's long form content platform. You can post videos that are up to 15 minutes long and they can be vertical or horizontal. However, I'm always going to encourage you to do vertical because that's kind of how Instagram works best is with the vertical video. But Instagram TV is supposed to be like this like YouTube killer. And while I don't think it's anywhere near that, I do think it's an important way for you to repurpose existing long form content and also create really great stuff. It's important to remember with IGTV that short, digestible, easy to consume content is what's going to perform best in IGTV. So while you might have 15 minutes, you don't need to actually use it. In fact, the sweet spot is going to be somewhere between one to three minutes minutes on your content and of course keeping it vertical. So make sure that you're taking your horizontal video if you have them and making them vertical with maybe text or captions at the bottom. But either way, making sure that you have a long but short consumable vertical video on IGTV. Now it's important to remember with IGTV you need to have a message. We talked about this with all of our other video content fact that you have to pay attention to the message. But what's so stinking cool about IGTV is that when you do your captions, your links are clickable, right? So traditionally with Instagram content, you put a link in your description, you can't click it 
it to take you somewhere. But with IGTV, you can. So I can put a link to anywhere and it will click and I can go to put them into like my funnel of some kind or direct them somewhere else. Also, if you do not have the 10K swipe up on Instagram, when you share your Instagram stories, you get the swipe up to your IGTV video. So use it as an additional call to action to your IGTV. You can even create a story that links to your Instagram TV video. So don't waste that opportunity. It's going to be super helpful for you with finding new ways to get people to consume your content in different kinds of mediums, even within the same platform. And our fifth way that we're making video on Instagram is going to be with live. Now, going live, I think we're all pretty familiar with. It's where you go live on the platform. And you're going to be doing this with your phone on Instagram. And you're going to have three different ways that you can do this. You're going to be able to go live directly just where you're talking to somebody just like this. You're going to be able to screen share where you're like, you're the little person in the upper right hand corner. And then you have like a whole image situation happening here, or you can do rooms. This is where you can invite up to three guests to be on screen with you doing a live interview or whatever for my media it is that you are doing in there. And again, you have to post these natively through Instagram. You can't go live in other ways on Instagram because of Instagram's limited API. So how can you make your Instagram lives more successful? Well, first things first, make sure that you're sharing them ahead of time. You want to really be promoting that your live is happening beforehand, whether it's in stories or reels or even in a newsfeed post. But my advice is to delete it after you have gone live. And then of course, share your live afterwards. Share your live in stories, add it into your highlights and just kind of keep it in store and share it there. Because once you go live and you don't tell it to share, it just goes away. Don't lose on the opportunity to have a really great conversation shared and used in different ways within the platform. Now, this goes without saying when it comes to live, but I feel like we need to mention it anyway. You have to make sure that you're engaging with your audience. As people are commenting and saying things, make sure you're, you are answering their questions and bringing them in to be like, go oh, say, hey, Cheryl, hey, Bob, hey, hey, Susie, make sure you're there. And what's super cool is if someone asks you a question, you can pin that comment to the top. That way you can be answering the question. And as people come in, they know what you are answering and like what this is relevant. Like it gives it context to what's happening in that live stream. So by pinning the comment, you know, like the people that are coming in know like what's what's happening going on. So it's a really nice little hack to keep people engaged in the loop of what's happening. Also make sure to encourage your audience to be sharing your live stream with other people because they can take it, share it to their stories and more people can of course join in. Now that we've gone over the five different types of video that we have, now I want to share with you my bonus tip on how to integrate Instagram video into your content plan. Now, if you're looking for a really easy way to plan out your content, go grab my free content planning worksheet that I have for you in the description down below. It's going to make this super easy for you. Now remember, your content plan is about giving you, the creator, an easy way to know what you need to create and when it is supposed to go out. Now, Instagram is incredibly easy to plan in because you have so many really, really different options for how and what you can create in the platform. But what's not so nice and user-friendly is that of the five different videos, you can only schedule out two of them. That is feed posts, Instagram TV. However, you can batch out your content for Instagram reels and you can make your stories ahead of time. And then just set some kind of reminder within your actual like Google calendar, Outlook calendar, whatever you use to organize your life that says, Hey, you need to go take this content and post it up with this message so that you're all ready. A content calendar is just a calendar that tells you what you need to create, when it's supposed to go live, and what the message and media is supposed to be with it. So here's how you can add Instagram video into your content plan. First things first is use your existing content. If you're already creating like a long form video on a regular basis or once a month or whatever it may be, make sure you're taking time to take that video and integrating it into the different kinds of video content that are available for you on Instagram. This could be with stories, this could be with a newsfeed video, or it could be with Instagram TV. Take the content and do more with it. I am camp, do more by creating less and by re purposing your content, you're going to be able to get there. I also really encourage you to find a really trendy audio file that you can use for reels to do this. Now, I like to give people ideas and extra tips when it comes to what is trending and what is popular in social media, especially with reels with my weekly newsletter that once you sign up for the content planning worksheet, you will get every Friday. So I'm trying to take the guesswork out for you there. But if you are a consumer of reels, save the ones that you really like. And then again, make it very simple for yourself, like where you're just like simply standing there doing something. Maybe you like some face expressions or mm, yeah, that's right. And then add the text on the screen while the audio file is playing. Keep it simple. But how you can add it into your plans, if you know I have to create reels on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, batch them ahead of time, record them out, put the messaging in, add the cover, and then just save it as a draft. Then when you get the alert for your calendar, you can just go in, 
download it first is a nice tip for you just in case something goes wrong and then just hit publish and boom, you've got that reel up. Again, it really thinks that you can't schedule out reels, but this is the next best thing to make sure that it's getting done. Bash it ahead, save it as a, as a draft, then hit publish when it's time. Now, when you're creating stories, make sure that you think of your Instagram stories in slides of four to six. Now, why you want to do is have like a first slide that's going to establish what's going to happen, what you're leading in, what you're hoping to talk about. Have the meet in like two to three different of these little stories and then have an end one where it's going to wrap it all up in some kind of conclusion and call it the action question poll. This is again, try not to leave it hanging. This is called storyboarding or story planning. And when you create those visuals ahead of time, it allows for you to know. Now remember when you're creating those visuals for stories, they don't have to be like something really fancy or graphically done in Canva or Photoshop. They can literally be you talking at the camera with your phone planning out what you're going to say. Know again that you need to plan out a beginning, a middle, and an end so that it can be good and quality and engaging and keep people clicking through so that Instagram keeps putting your stories in front of people because the more they watch, the more they engage, the more Instagram tells the algorithm, hey, this person likes this person's content, keep giving it to them. And always make sure again to add the extra flares and uh, that you get with in the stories feature, like adding in a gift or animated text onto those stories. Instagram video is the most effective way to grow an engaging audience on Instagram. And I've gone over a lot today, so make sure you go watch this playlist that I have for you right here, where I'm gonna break down for you how to do all this, how to make reels, how to make videos, all that kind of good stuff. And then watch this video right here because YouTube thinks you're really gonna like it. And until next time, I'll see you soon.